something very different. When the automobile industry wants 10 million, it's no good. Biomedical devices. Just to be this thing. So that scale is another one. So if these things are taken care of, we can do. That means another 15, 20 years of hard work we have to do. If we do, we still will do. But uh, the nature of the economies of the world is that the world doesn't wait. There are countries whom you would not have thought of. The Southeast Asia, they are all surging ahead. So, windows of opportunities, in other words, are very narrow now. When I would have been a young man, probably 10 years, we would have been doing around. But now you have to jump. If you don't jump, 10 fellows have gotten you. So, then Tanajik are working 20 years. Then we do. And all the fees balanced. No only IT, no this one, no that one. You have to get from everybody. So, ever since the Industrial Revolution, the world has seen many ages, technological ages. Right. Which game-changing technologies do you foresee to be dominating in the next uh, few decades? See, if you look back, the good question, let me tell you, pre-industrial revolution, nobody would have thought of steam engine being used. Even though I learned from my one good friend, he has done some work on the, this thing. Yes, the torture is Chandrasekhar. He has done all the cycles of this. Steam was used by British for pumping out water from coal, but it was not an engine. It was in 1700. There are a lot of patent that and everything is there. But nobody thought that a steam engine will come. It's a confluence of six, seven items which took place. I don't want to give you a whole talk around it. It is that has to happen. That was in 1700. Transistor. Nobody thought. Can even come up. So, the such type of breakthrough technologies which are normally I would like to say it is beyond the horizon, what is there, we can't predict today. If I predict it now, then it is inside the horizon. Because I can't, I, the light has to come to me, so it does not come. But we know, but one general methodology I would say if we simply sit that the beyond the horizon is going to come, like an avatar trying to save me. It's not going to be there. You have to have all the past things. You have to have steam. Steam is not replaced. The land, labor, cap, land, labor, capital, then they say technology. Now the land costs are going to be one of the availability is going to be one of the because to nothing in the past goes away. Certain things disappear. But it comes in a much more severe form. Forging, for example. Forging industry, when we were doing, people were saying, oh, you are, why are you going for the sunset industry? They were telling it for uh, steel. They have done a lot of work in tie back on coal. Oh, it is not there, no, it is solar. It's not going to be. Those bulk of these economies, unless we master, but the key are going to be in that efficiency of energy utilization, efficiency of material utilization, efficiency of whole processes. Therefore, the cost comes down. Efficiency, efficiency, productivity, yield, all this has to be done. Embracing many things which are coming. Third, it will invariably multiple. And everything you want to master and do, it will not be. You want to acquire a technology, you want to get this, get that, capture. And then the linear thought, like invent, then innovate. That is idea, invent, innovate, then you do a prototype, then you do a pre-commercial, those days are gone. It's all jumping and making products for services. These are the things which we have learned. Then we will be so good when, the, when those breakthroughs come, the fellows who do that very well will know how to look at it and capture it. Because now even if a breakthrough goes through, nobody will know in India. You may be shouting, you may be one person who may know, others won't know. But the society has to catch. So there is nothing if somebody says, Asuman say, I am Arishtar, 
My idol. Who is there? There are so many. And it is going to be 10, 20, 30 going to come. I don't know which one they are. So, but if you have prepared yourself for all this, you will know how to capture it. That's what it does. Sir, Technology Vision 2020 was uh, evolved uh, keeping India, a developed India in mind. Now, once India develops and becomes a developed economy, what kind of uh, visioning exercise uh, would you suggest? Or what kind of changes or new elements that would have to be embedded in an exercise uh, that you did you know, 20 years back? Uh, I would say a small correction. The developed India is to be done is something was that that type of formulation was done post the study. When the study was done, we were trying to see what best you can go about. How we are, how is the world is, how we are, is there a too much of a gap, where we can catch and where we can surpass. This is one generic thing. Second generic thing, where we are good at. We got a natural advantages. Agriculture therefore has to be taken because you have got a very, very interesting country in which 26% of the land is arable. It is not so in America, it is not so in any other place. We have got excellent weather. You see, nature gets fury, but still water, everything is there. Then also a large number of people who are in agriculture have to be tapped off. We have got skill, we have got young people. So these were looked at, your natural resources, you are not as bad as Japan was were not as bad as Korea was. So we had almost everything nature has endowed us. Plus also, I would say that we were starting in a zero slate. There were a lot of experiences, though they are stagnated. Many of the industries are stagnated. Many of the scientific institutions are stagnated in learning further. But they could be energized. So that one, what is the potential? Can we reach that potential is what was seen. So the developed India was an incidental outcome of it. Okay. Now, having said this, now you say what is beyond. The world is not static. And especially in a globalized world, you can't just say, Are bhai, ho gaya, thoba. Oh, I work so hard. Let me relax. It is not. Uh, one, one question which you asked earlier, there are so many breakthrough technologies are going to come. God knows what. Breakthrough business practices may come brought to what? See, for example, e -tay. Have you ever would have thought of uh, commercially selling a, a furniture on a e book? At least one can imagine. So there are so many things coming like that. We don't know business practices. This, then online learning, this one, that one, etc. New countries may emerge which have got a speciality with whom you have a synergistic strength. So there are so many in your milieu, you have no rest. If you want to be having developed, I define development totally differently. That is, each individual of the country should be able to realize his or her fullest potential. Everybody is not equally at all. One may be excellent in maths, another may be in art, another may be in something else, but all of them should be enabled. So if I use that as a yardstick, world is changing, therefore they have to be keeping on themselves changed. Number two, new fellows are coming in into the system. India will continue to be young in a nation for a long time because there are a lot of young fellows. They will, they will have their children. Some more people may adopt India to come and stay here. So all this value. So there is no rest. You have to be keeping on moving, moving, moving forward. Learning, being agile being capture new opportunities. That's all. And then be ready to contribute. Maybe at that stage we are not a laggard alone. We are not only a follower. We are not only just the leader. We may strike new paths. India will be known beyond that state where you have got everything, everybody has gained the potential. Day-to-day uh, -day living is not a problem. Food is not a main crisis. Education of a child is not a crisis. Health is not a crisis because reasonably taken care of. Each child will not become a great engineer. It may become something else. People don't have to worry. So when you reach that stage, 
India will have to give in technology, in art, music, sports, in each field. Tell me people, now we have to just one medal, we get one loss, we all get depressed. That's not a thing for a country of this size. So those are the elements on which India will be doing it and plus uh, uh, we, we, I, I don't want to say even a Nobel Prize. For me it is not very important. I have fullest respect for the Nobel laureates. They are all very good. But it is something so originally contributing. What we had in the early times of the 20th century. Many of those guys. So they did. But we will have hundreds of them. And with our biodiversity probably we may break new paths in uh, life sciences. There's so much of ocean in space. I don't know. I don't want it define and limit it. But that is the one. One is you have to keep capturing and then doing these things. You can't get out of it. Another one is help people to get into fullest potential more and more. They themselves will know how to capture it. It is no longer a my bab going on telling. These fellows keep on doing it themselves. Third one will be brand new something which are new, which suppose in case I am living, I would say I never thought of, means I will be happy. That's what I would say. Very much inspiring, sir. Anything else you would like to address to the nation, a key message to the nation, to the countrymen? Look, see, on the whole, we have to have the grit. Yeah, I am telling it for the young, old, everybody. We have to have the grit at least for the next 20, 15, 20 years, we need to let us realize the fullest potential of India to a good extent. That is item number one. And I can also tell uh, that though I said that so many things, complexities are there, your Typhax role becomes very new. Unlike earlier, uh, you, you can be behind a sugar technology, you can be behind a fry ash and other things. Now you are waste management. Newer things come, what you will do, how the service will be done, how the health sector will be, public access, health system will be cheaper, in which case multiple things come. So, and then also be agile. What he asked the earlier question is, what is emerging? Five years from now, I may say something I, what I didn't know coming, coming there in the horizon. See, for example, I used to be in space the tracking and data relay system. Americans were trying to do, see that they don't depend upon the ground satellite system. They used to be in Africa and all that. They want to guide everything. Tracking and data relay systems. This was about 30 years ago. Now that is the one which is guiding their war. We knew that that is going to be a likely potential, but only a few of us knew. Because we are, so like these things will come. These are the items on which Typhac also has got a lot of special contribution to give to the country by alerting not just the SNT fellows, not just the R&D, not just the academics, not just the government, but industries as a whole, including foreign fellows. Are you aware in our country, if you come and do this, you are going to be the first fellow going to reap benefit. Does it matter? It has come within our geography. So we have a lot of potential, which we need to only thing is we have to be not scattered in our thinking. We can individually competitive. I am not saying no. Competitive within industrial sectors. But in the overall, when it comes to welfare of all those four, four segments which I said, all of them have to be lifted. Especially the bulky base. Lifting of average to a higher level is equally important like chasing excellence. That's what Thank you so much. <coughs> Thank you.